perfect. True Shad wins the Kipco British Champions Long Distance Cup in the Heather Holly Doyle. Here's Brando with one master and half power. Glen Shield far side, Brando on the near side. Oh, it's tight. Holly's done it. Glen Shield wins, and Holly is a Group 1 winning rider. What a story this is. Well, Holly, with Champions Day just around the corner, I'm assuming that Asuka is your favourite race course, is it? Yeah, it definitely is my favourite, yeah. Is that just because of the success you've had here, or is that because of the way you, you, you actually like riding the track? Yeah, I've obviously had some really good days here and a lot of luck, but I think it's just such a beautiful track to ride and it's very fair. And, and, and last year, just go back over Trushan, who must be your favourite horse, just to, if you remember, what, how were you going? So coming out of Swindley, how, how are you going? Coming out of Swindley Bottom, I remember he actually locked on. You know, he was very settled early on and then three, three parts of the way onwards. The further I was getting, the better, and I'm thinking, here we, here we go. <laughs> you know, I went into the race and Alan had told me to ride him ride him to run well and get a place, nick a place. And I was getting the further I was getting, the better. And I had Stradivarius on my inside. I kept looking over. Was, thinking, did Frankie I'm give going a, was he giving you a shout? You. <laughs> did, was, was, was Frankie giving you a shout? Um, no, not at this point, no. But um, I was getting so well. I just remember, you know, turning in, playing between the four and the three, and, you know, three down. He just took, took me to the front and away. True Shad, who's now unleashed down the outside by Holly Doyle. And True Shad comes through to head to Jera Prince. And Trushan enters the final furlong with a growing advantage and racing up towards the line. This progressive stay horse. Trushan wins the Kipco British Champions Long Distance Cup in the Heather Holly Doyle. I felt like I was galloping across a golf course on him. He just handled it so well. Um, no, true stayer. For a horse that stays that distance, he's actually got a few gears, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is quite rare, really, isn't it? So, where were you watching when you won the other day in France? Um, oh, I, I took myself out the house because I, I didn't want to sit there all day grinding myself watching every race in the country. So, um, I actually watched it on my phone, and um, yeah, I, I was obviously sick, but I was sick, but I was just delighted for the owners and Alan and, and James Doyle as well. He's such a gentleman, and I think that happens anyone really nicer, really. Well, coming to the bend now, if, if previous is anything to go by, you'd probably murdered Frank on this bend, would you? <laughs> no. That's what no. you like to do. I always, you, know, <laughs> you don't want to be too wide turning in for home, really. Um, I feel like, you know, it's quite a long sweeping bend and you, you don't want to give away too much ground, so you're always still trying to keep, keep a hold of them, really. It's, it's interesting, though, well, you tell me, but if, from the crowd's point of view, you think coming around the bend is where the race really starts, but it's, it's basically, you want to get a posse here, don't you? Yeah, like between the four and the three, the race really starts to develop, and it's quite a deceiving uh, turn for home, although it's, it's quite a sharp run in, it's pretty stiff, yeah, so yeah. it's kind of, you, you don't want to be committing too soon, but you don't want to be letting them get away from you. You do get nervy. Um, do you know what, I, I get, um, I anticipate You're a, cool it a bit. You're a cookie, but are you? I, are. Um, no, not when I'm on the... When I'm just, on the horse, no, I don't feel nervous, really. Do you I not just, at all? Not you're, really. When, no. you watch it, when you're watching the paddock, you don't look nervous. I just wonder whether you just learned how to conceal no, I suppose, it. No, I think maybe in the, um, the morning time at home, maybe I'd be a bit twitchy, but when I'm at the races, I've got a job to do, and I, I feel quite content, really. Do you think you're improving as a rider? And can, you, can you still... Well, you were saying you had your first win in 2013, wasn't it, or something? Yeah, my first winner was in 2013 as an amateur. Um, it's taken me... A while to get to where I've got, but um, I thought I've got a long way to go. Four years. Yeah, no, but I thought it, it, you, you, you've been riding a lot longer than I thought. Yeah, no, I think I've had, you know obviously the last three or four years have been pretty good, and that's um, you know I've, I've really picked up, but a bit of a struggle before that. <laughs> I think the problem was I, I wasn't very good, and I knew it. Yeah. Um, or that you know that that's probably good because I knew I needed to get better, and I I didn't think I was um, the bee's knees when I wasn't, but. Um, yeah, probably wouldn't. I wouldn't change things, you know, how they've happened for me, really. Oxted clinging on from Glen Shield. Here's Brando as well, with one master and half power. Glen Shield far side, Brando on the near side. Oh, it's tight! Glen Shield as well last year. He's, I mean, he's been absolutely fantastic for you, but not in quite the same sort of form now. Yeah, this year's been tricky with him, really. Um, he's only had his ground probably once or twice, and on at Royal Ascot, he was only beaten in length by Dream of Dream, so yeah. I, I can't knock him for that. But um, the next two runs were on, on quick ground, which is really not what he wants. Um, so we're hoping we can come back here on Champions Day and 
Well, see how he gets on. Hopefully, he can uh, replicate what he did last year. Yeah, It'd be nice. <laughs> Gordon, talk us through what that what that was like to, to ride those those sprinters. I know you love true sham, but to yeah. ride a proper sprinter like yeah. that, it must be brilliant. Yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. Um, the circumstances as well. We've you know, been been Archie's first Group One winner um, for Hamilton Race, in which a huge supporter of our yard. Um, and on Glenn, who is a horse I love very much, it was um, cool. Yeah. This straight course is this an easy easy course to ride? Um, it's relatively straightforward, but also it's very it's a very stiff stiff mm. mile. Um, you don't realise because you can see here. Yeah, the, you, you the, run, it looks flat from yeah, the stands. From, from kind of um, three and a half down, you run you run downhill for for a furlong and a half, and then you know two out, it's it's stiff uphill again and. Um, it's quite deceiving as well. Even even with those sprinters, you you, yeah. you, you can't go kicking I, on I here. I find it quite hard to to make the run in here because um, you're kind of giving everyone a lead and getting taken on a long way out. You're very vulnerable, um, so it takes a bit to win from the front. I reckon it is. I I find it's um, an easier track to get a lead on. So looking up the track, Glenn Shew, how is he going here? Yeah, he's been off the bridle. Since it's a free pole, so <laughs> you'll be um, driving the ears off him. Yeah, you have to make every post winning post with Glenn. He's, um, I think, the reason why he likes it here and goes well on the soft ground is he just completely outstays everything. Really, he he actually has run over ten furlongs, so you really? know, he, yeah, you know, he, he get the trip well. <laughs> yeah, and and let's go through some of the others. Amatiaz that you you won on here, that was you were always up there on him as well. Yeah, I just I banged there on Amatiaz the whole way, and we didn't get very quick, and I just kind of slingshot him off that bend. Um, it was a bit of a risky move because I, I was, um, you know, they were closing in on me. But he's so tough, and he just he just held on that day, thankfully. Amtiaz has just got to the front inside the last furlong. It's Amtiaz and Holly Doyle. Amtiaz and Dubious affair. Amtiaz and Holly Doyle. And Alan King as well. He's been he's been pivotal in your in your career. Getting yeah. your first Royal Ascot winner. Yeah, it's, it's been a bit crazy really. And um, Alan's been a huge supporter of me and Scarlet Dragon that day at Royal Ascot was was um Talk know. us talk us through that. What was what, what was that like? <laughs> he's um well he's an old monkey and yeah. <laughs> I hadn't ridden him for I I won the old Royal Cup mile on him as like a five pound claimer a few years ago and I hadn't really ridden him that much in between. And then I got back on him here and I was thinking, oh, here we go, what's he gonna do today? Because he's he is a bit of a, a monkey, and um, <laughs> everything just literally fell perfect. I, he switched off straight away, didn't pick the bridle up, um, got you know, got, managed to get get the splits up the straight, and he, he got up on the line. But he was cooperative that day. But we've had a few, few. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, that's just <laughs> him, though, isn't since. it? <laughs> that's just him. Yeah, isn't it? it's just him. He, he's got so much ability, and yeah, you don't know what horse is going to turn up on the day. I know you don't even like admitting it, but given your sort of stature and the way you are in the in the jockey's table, that you you don't take anything for granted, do you? No, I'm kind of worried about <laughs> falling off the off the uh, um, you know off the planet really. <laughs> but, but, it, but it does. You see sportsmen do it. Yeah, don't you it? see it Easier. happen. You know, people have a good year or two like I have, and then the next year they have a quiet year and you don't see them again. So I'm always pretty. Um, Conscious of not letting that happen. I, look, I, I'm 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 a terrible judge, but I think you're fairly safe on that oh. front. I, I genuinely do. So, how do you improve? How do you? I've got to improve my riding. Keep, yeah. keep on improving my riding. Well, what bit do you um, like then? Well, tactically, yeah, there's a lot more that I could be better at, and hopefully, within the next few years, I can get abroad where they ride tighter or sharper and mix things up a bit, and you know, and get that experience. So we're coming up the into the final furlong now um, and what was that like when you realised when you kicked clear here what did that feel like you think because you look at, you can see the big screen as well can't you when you're riding yeah on on Trishan, I couldn't believe my eyes and I was just gobsmacked completely as to how far clear he'd pulled and I think a lot of people thought that that was a fluke or a one-off or he's a grand dependent horse but he's proven now that he's not is he yeah he's absolutely exceptional horse isn't he but so was your, were your mum and dad here no, um, oh, that's a shame. no, they do not. They, they've um, been in racing all their lives. Yeah. I think the last thing they want to do is go racing <laughs> on a Saturday. To be honest, well, I don't know. It's very cheap when your daughter rides a Group One. Dad, day. Um, dad does. Dad, dad drives a lorry, so he's here at the races some days anyway. Um, so you wouldn't really fancy a day out. But to be fair, Mum started coming on the big days a bit more, and she started to enjoy that. Whereas a few years ago, she couldn't think of anything worse. Yeah, but they must, yeah, but they must be so proud. Yeah, they, you know, obviously they're they're proud, and I think um, 
we're all in a bit of disbelief as to what what's happened over the last do, few years. Do, do you keep in touch? Because you where's your you're Lempster, aren't you? Yeah. From, do, from do you, from have you got any like school friends that you? Yeah, keep I've in got. Touch with? Yeah, I've got a few school friends there that um, that I keep in touch with. I think they they can't believe it really. Well, Champions Day has been going for for ten years, Holly. What 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 are the your fellow riders, what does everyone think of Champions Day? I think everyone looks look, looks forward to it. It's a, a great way to cap off the season, really. You know, the champion jockey and champion apprentice get crowned, and um, it's, a, it's a nice day. It's a, a bit more, I suppose, relaxed than Royal Ascot, um, I suppose, because of the time of the year. Yeah, but it's it's always such... It is, you're right, because you've, you've followed the horses all season. It's it's a, it's, if you like, it's the crowning moment. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, it can be a bit of a lottery. It's been a long season. They've had, some horses have had a hard year. And I think anything can happen as well on, on the um, awesome ground. Well, this is where you want to be, Holes, up to the famous Ascot finishing line. How yeah. many wins you had this year now? I think I'm on 142 this year. You say that quite, quite, in very blase the way you say that. That's, that's, <laughs> that's brilliant, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. I, you know... I think I'm 10 winners behind last year, so hopefully I've got a bit of time to hopefully beat that. Here comes the line. Red shirt! <laughs> <laughs> Just a break. <laughs> this is what it's all about. <laughs> um, Holly, thanks ever so much. You're, literally, I genuinely mean that. I was, I was at a do last night and I saw Rachel Blackmore. Oh, yeah. And she's, she's, she's such a nice girl. But you've done as much in my eyes oh. for, for <laughs> racing as she has for national hunt racing. It's, it's a, you're a real inspiration. and. It was nice of you to walk the course and show me the ins and outs of being a flat jockey. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me. Perfect. True Share wins the Gipco British Champions Long Distance Cup in the Heads of Holly Doyle. Here's Brando with one master and half power. Glen Shield far side, Brando on the near side. Oh, it's tight. Holly's done it. Glen Shield wins and Holly is a group one winning rider. What a story this is.